Hello Compo fans, Jotaro speaking. This is the review of the SDG Generation number 59 Crossbone Gundam X1 from the the Crossbone Man Cro Gundam Crossbone Manga series. He um this is an SD kit released in 2001 and it is a pretty small kit. I did the unboxing um I guess I posted it yesterday. So if you saw that, then this is what you get out of it. Now this is completely untouched, other than snap fitted. This is no no stickers, no um, no stickers, no paint, no lining. So you can see all the stickers have not been used. So this is what you get completely out of the box. You get three colors: red, white and a very dark navy blue slash black in the light it's it's a navy it's definitely a navy blue so um i'm gonna go ahead and go into articulation the head goes well, let's see that's about, yeah the head goes side to side but if you pull out the peg a little bit you can get them to rotate completely this is a smaller sd uh, and I'll show you in the legs in a minute. Uh, there is no articulation in the chest. Arms can rotate, but they st once you get past a certain point, practically at the side skirt, they kind of pop out. You can kind of see that there. The arms can go out. The hands are molded with the arms. And the legs can rotate. And I guess you can, and they kind of move, but they spring right back if you do the polycap design. And this is what the leg looks like. You get a, practically a foot, and the peg acts as a leg. So it's a very short SD Gundam compared to um, the others, like the Sunken Gundam that I just that I reviewed, or the uh, Ryubi that I have yet to, to review. But the Crossbones manga, uh, Crossbone Gundam's main gimmick, or one of his main gimmicks, is the the four back thrusters that make that make the shape of an X. So as you can see, um, they can go forward like that. They have some nice detail, which um, I guess we can take a look right now. There you go. See some nice detail. So some nice detail that can be picked out and even uh, modified a little bit more. There's a huge difference between the thrusters they give you he they give you and the thrusters you see on here though on the uh, box art. I'm just gonna put the, you can see these huge thruster bells over here. So it's a huge difference. But yeah, and the each of the X things can go down, so you can get like a you know he's uh, zooming forward. You know. So yeah. Next are his two weapons, the Sand Buster and Sand Saber, I believe they're called, which are his gun. Let's see if I can do that. Please, 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 please. Damn it. Let's see. Again. Nice details. Has a small peg, and if painted, this could look pretty cool. But on the other side, big gaps. And the sand saber is over here, and um, I guess I'm a little bit spoiled by the master gray has a gap there. But the blade is really plain, while in the master gray looks more like a uh, what's it called, like a cutlass, you know. So I'm gonna have to once I get to building this kit, that that, that might have to change. And to put it into the hands, it's actually pretty simple. You just take that the that peg and put it into the hands, and you have the sand. Buster, and you take the sword, and there. And unlike the Master Grade, of course, his weapons do not combine into that awesome weapon that he has that fires nukes or something like that. But yeah. Um, now, a couple of my gripes with the kit. Um, a lot of filling. You, uh, this is going to take some, you got to fill a few things in order to. Uh, make this look good. As you can see the arms have these huge gaps. Oops. Oh, yeah. 
Let's see, we're gonna get that. Mm -hmm. There you go. The arms have huge gaps. It's kind of loose. At least mine is. You know, you shake things up and it will fall apart, kind of. Um, the gimmick with these is actually pretty nice, I, I believe. And, and again, some filling here and there. The legs have almost no motion, so you practically just have him standing there. He is pretty stable, though. I, I, uh, I do give it props for that. Um... Otherwise, that is the SD Crossbone X1 from G Generation slash the Crossbone Manga. I'd say pick it up if you're a fan of the Crossbone, but be ready to do a bit of detail painting. Oh, and uh, another detail, pretty nice details in the head. Um, you look closely, you can see where the the red scars are that are shown in the in the box. You see that the red lines back there? Those red lines um, are represented here, and they give you stickers. They give you stickers for the eyes, the scar, the the skull and crossbones, um, to wrap around the arms, for the chest. Oh, right, and for the whole um, bottom skirt. Another feature this has. I'm just gonna take off the head. Is that you can pop this off it's the cover for the and you can kinda scoot it up I guess I've done it before oh, oh you can take this off this cover off and in the chest you get uh, the detail no, I don't know why it's not doing it I'm sorry guys uh, arp. I don't know why it's not doing it, but, um, there you go, you can, you can kind of see the cockpit from the core fighter, and that's another one of the gimmicks, it, I've actually gotten it to, uh, stay open a little bit, but not for long, as you can see, so yeah, that is about it, again, this is a pretty good as, uh, Gundam, but it is not as advanced as a lot of the mo more modern SDs, and, the, everything is pretty sh stout except for the body and the, the head. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, stay tuned for my next video where I will be talking about him and Sunken Gundam back here. Talking about my projects and where you're going to have to help me pick one of my SD, my SD projects. So thank you very much guys and I'll talk, talk to you guys next time. See ya.